Hello everyone and welcome to week four, Internet and Copyright. Now that we've gotten beyond the first couple of weeks, it's time to step up our game and get into some new concepts and new tools. First, I'd like to point out a tutorial on the tutorial page about how to change the title of your blog. I noticed that several of you used Educational Philosophy as the title of your blog based on that first blog post, but you might want to change that to make it more overarching. You may have noticed that when you added your Flat World blog post. So this week is all about copyright and fair use. Within the copyright folder, there are three things I'd like you to read and watch so that you are prepared for the discussion board and quiz as well as three additional resources that you may explore if you choose for more information. There is an open book or open internet copyright quiz. You are welcome to do this quiz with more than one browser window open so that you can refer to the materials in your notes. You do, however, have only 30 minutes to complete the quiz. Your discussion post this week is also about copyright. Many people think it's okay to use anything and everything as long as it's for educational purposes, but that just simply is not the case. This week, you will also create an instructional screencast geared towards the needs of your future students. Information literacy and the ability to find and validate sources are big topics in the new Common Core State Standards. Your internet search tip can use any search tool. For elementary, you might use Yahooligans or Google Safe Search, while at high school you might even use a subject-specific search tool that fits your content area. Your screencast must be posted to YouTube in order to receive full credit. All of the directions for setting up accounts and creating a screencast are posted in the weekly content. As always, the first thing to try when you're troubleshooting is switching to a different browser. But if that doesn't work, remember our Student to Student Help Desk. Although you may be tempted to skim over materials this week, it's important that you actually read them. Following copyright guidelines and proper use and citation of images is a graded component of several upcoming assignments. Every quarter, I have a couple of students who end up losing enough points to change their grade simply by repeated use of copyrighted images. So pay attention and it won't be a problem. Have a great week!